So, fitting a 4x4 fence post to a wall to hang a gate usually. Uh, let's see how it's done. Right guys, I'm just in this job here. Um, there's going to be a gate going in here. Now normally there's two ways to fit a post to a wall uh, for a gate. You can use a 4x2 or in this case I'm using a 4x4 post. Um, the problem with a 4x4 post is usually, if you can see the, the drip lip, there's like a lip for the harlan that normally you know just keeps the water away from the house. Um, so that creates a gap. I don't know if you can see the gap. So it's maybe a bit more apparent here. Um, this is the old post that we'll be replacing, but you can see the way they've fitted that. They've cemented it in the ground, but there's no way of fixing it to the wall because of that gap. So you can see the gap between the wall and the post. This post's plumb, but what we need to do, I'm wanting to bolt this post to the wall as well as have it concreted in the bottom there. So what we need to do is we need to scribe a bit out of here. So that'll allow us to get it flush to the wall, put a couple of uh, masonry fixings through and also cement the post in. So that's the that's like the strongest gate post you'll ever get really. So basically all we've done, if, if it allows, if the situation allows, you can dig a hole there where your post's gonna go in, get that cemented in and once that's scribed out and then we can bolt this to the wall. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that now. So basically the first thing you need to do is get your post plumb. So this post perfectly plumb, now you can see that gap there. So what we need to do is transfer this gap here. That looks to be about 10, 15 millimetres. Okay, so what I'm actually doing here, I'm, I'm marked underneath there, I've marked that along. I've sort of guessed the rough section of where this needs to clear. And what we'll do is now is set the circular saw to that depth, run a series of cuts along there, and then just chop that bit out. Now I'll just take that section out which will allow us to get the post flush against the wall. Okay, so you can see how I've marked the depth there. So I've set the blade to that depth there on the circular saw. And what we'll do is just start running across, doing a heap of a series of cuts, and then we can chop that out, and that'll notch that out. So you get the idea, that's the notch created. And what still, I'll do now is give you clearance for the drip lip on the wall. So important thing is here, once you do this, you need to treat that with clear preserver or paint. If you're gonna be painting the fence, just slap the paint on there just to protect the wood. So do that and then we'll get this in position. So you can see the post now in position. What that notch allowed us to do is to put this flush against the wall. Here, it's pretty much bang on plumb. Um, so what this all enables to do now is what I'll do next. The next stage will be I'll cement that in. We'll postcrete. I know this is roughly in position, and then I'll show you how we drill the the post and then put the the fixings in. garden sprayer like this. Just fill this with clear water, give it a pump and just clean the post. What this does, it cleans the post without flooding the hole, you know, with water. You know what flood that hole with water? So you can see now we've cleared all the residue off without flooding the hole with water. All we'll do now is just shape this concrete, just give it a slight slope so the water flows away from the post. Yeah, I'm going to put three fixings in here. So one round about there, one round about there, and one the in the middle. The particular fixings that I use, and it's the Timco multi-fix bolts. In my opinion, you don't get any better than those. They're, it's the strongest bolt you'll get, and I would always recommend using those. So in this particular video for a 4x4 post, the size that I use 
is 8mm by 150mm bolts. Um, I will leave links in the description to you know the fixings that I'm using and the, the drill sizes and stuff. So, so you get in the box, you get these bolts, but they don't come with any washers. So I purchased these separately. So these are a 30mm washer with a 10mm hole in the middle. Again, I'll leave links in the description to these. But it's basically a penny washer, 30mm by 10mm. And they go perfectly with these bolts. Okay, so in the video you'll see me recessing, uh, adding a recess into the post before I actually drill through the post. And for that you'll need a 32mm, either a spade bit like that, or what I prefer to use nowadays is a Forstner bit. This is ideal for, for the job that we're going to be doing. But if you don't have one of those, just use a spade bit. And finally, the drill that we're going to be using to actually drill through the post and into the concrete is an 8mm by 250mm uh, SDS drill bit. If you don't have an SDS drill, you know, an actual drill, you can use just a normal hammer drill on hammer action. Yeah, in the video you'll see me use a ratchet and a 15mm socket. See that there? It's just a standard socket, but that fits the, the M8 by 150 bolt. So as I explained, you can drill wherever you want, there's no hard and fast rule. But I'm putting one in the bottom, one in the centre and one up at the top. So the first thing to do is go in with the Forstner bit, or the spade bit. Drill a recess of about 10mm. And then that'll allow us to go into the next stage, so I'll show you what I do with that. Okay, so the Forstner bit. Pick the centre of the post, roughly, and just drill a 10mm recess. That's it, that's enough. So you can see the recess there. Recess there, and one there. And what we'll do now is go in with the SDS bit, hit that centre hole, and go right through through the post and into the concrete using an SDS drill. Okay, so this is the SDS drill I use with the 8mm bit in there. So we'll just go right through the centre, right through the post and right into the concrete. So that's that drilled right through, so now we can put the bolt in. So we've got the bolt, we've got the socket, I'd advise using a, a ratchet for this, not an impact driver. And just take it easy, you know, just screw this in gently. You don't need any wall plugs or anything. As long as you've used an 8mm bit, we'll just screw this through the wood and it'll go into the, the concrete and, and grip really tight, pull the post onto the wall. So I'll do that now. So just insert it like that and just gently screw it in. So you get to about that point there and you can feel the you can feel the bolt you know hitting the concrete, you can feel the grit. You can actually feel the grit when you're turning this so you know that the, the bolt's starting to go into the concrete. Just keep turning. You'll feel that getting really tight. Once it gets tight. Just nip it up, that's all it needs. It doesn't need, you don't need to go crazy. Just nip it up slightly. That's the first one in, so you repeat the process for the top one, the bottom one. Right guys, that's the post installed. So fully cemented at the bottom, 150mm Timco multi-fix bolts right through. So that's what it looks like. You can see why we recessed it. It gives you the flush finish over the top. Because the gate obviously have to open against this post. So that's why we do that. That's why we do the recess. Um, and this post is you'll never get a stronger post than that. Yeah, so that's a way to fix a, a gate post. So you can see it tight against the wall, cemented into the ground, and perfectly plumb. 
ready to hang a gate. So what I'm going to do now, I've got another post, obviously to put in here, post here, post here. So this is how the gate fixed up. The post in behind there, I've actually clad it with another uh, fence slat there. So I've sort of scribed that around there so it's a bit neater. So you can see it's a really heavy gate, really solid. That's why I use the post. So Alright guys, as always, take it easy. Cheers.